Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I did not think I was going to be purchasing more during the Sephora uh, VIB sale event this time around, but they added some new stuff between the first weekend and the second weekend that Rouge members could shop. So I decided to go for it, pick up those things. And I also mentioned if you guys had suggestion for synthetic brushes, if you wouldn't mind letting me know what some of your favorites were. And you guys were so amazing. Like the suggestions and the recommendations kept coming in. So anyway, I got some brushes. So if you're interested in seeing what I picked up during the Sephora sale the second time around, then just keep on watching. All right, so on Sunday, I placed this order and I thought Sunday was the last day. It was in fact Monday. Like I think. I I had all the dates mixed up in my head. So I kind of rushed to put this order in because it was Sunday, it was in the evening, and I was going through all of your comments and your suggestions for synthetic brushes. And I was like, oh, I see Makeup Forever a lot in there. So I just ordered three Makeup Forever brushes. I'm really excited to try these. Many of you suggested Makeup Forever. I think Sephora Pro was another one that I saw a lot. Um, and maybe Luxie Beauty and It Cosmetics. So I didn't want to go too hog wild uh, right off the bat. So I just stuck with Makeup Forever. And let's see, which ones did I get? I got this blending brush, which looked very promising. I think this one is the 242 and it is the large blender brush. So I like these handles. I like that they're, um, I don't know if they're actual wood or if it's like just a wood finish, but I like that they look different from a lot of my other brushes. So I'll be able to easily identify them. But here is the large blender. This looks okay. I feel like the bristles are a little bit long for my taste. I wish there was just, I don't know, maybe like, maybe like three millimeters shorter and I think I would like it but it does have a nice domed shape to it which you guys know I like I don't like the ones that get too pointy I really like this rounded top so the shape of this looks pretty good the bristles are soft it has that synthetic hair spring actually not as bad so anyway I have high hopes for this you guys really really highly recommended these and then I also picked up number 226 which is a medium eye shader and this is like a typical average flat shader brush so I pretty much use a blender and a shader the most in my eyes so I really wanted to get one of each and then I also picked up number 218 which is a medium blender brush and I don't know if this is supposed to be a medium version of the large one I got because this is much smaller so this apparently is the medium blender brush and this is the large so I would love something in between. <laughs> that would make my day. But I got this because I thought this would be nice to, um, I don't know, either do inner corner or uh, blend out edges. It's kind of like a, a buffing brush, but it has like a little bit of a domed shape there. So those are the three brushes that I got and I definitely want to play around with them and I will definitely report back. And so these are the products that popped up after the first weekend that Rouge could shop but before the second one. So I'm glad I kind of checked the site again. So these are some Guerlain products and oh, actually this did not pop up. This was always there, but this is another brush. Someone actually recommended this brush to use with the Meteorites and this is the Guerlain Meteorite brush. And I just never ever thought to get it, but now that I feel like like I'm kind of on the hunt for like great synthetic hair brushes. I thought I would give this one a shot. Oh, how cute. It comes with its own little pouch. And it is a really, really cute brush. I just don't know how much I'm actually going to like it. Uh, but it has this nice, uh, almost like a travel size handle, but a little, a small, short little handle. It has Guerlain printed on there. And then it has like the scallop design all along the ferrule here. It's uh, shedding a little bit. Definitely is not the softest brush I felt, but I feel like that will probably help pick up any of the powder on the pearls without having to kind of shake them up. I think that's actually why someone suggested this. They're like, without having to shake it up, if you use this brush, uh, which is definitely not the softest brush in the box, it'll definitely help kind of pick up the powder off of the pearls. And well, you know, once you do this action, it actually feels pretty soft, but if you just kind of feel the bristles here, they are definitely not the softest. They're a little bit coarse, if you will. And it is really, really pretty, I have to say. I love the kind of pink tips to the, the brush hairs. 
Okay, so now on to the stuff that was not there when uh, I shot the first weekend. So these are some things from the Guerlain holiday collection. So I picked up the Electric Look palette. This is a harmony of eyeshadows and highlighters, matte to metallic look. And I just recently got into Guerlain, I wanna say just this past summer, and I have some of the meteorites, I have a lot of their bronzers, which they're known for, I even purchased one of their uh, perfumes, but I haven't tried any of their eyeshadows. So I thought maybe this would be a good place to start. Here is the palette, very, very sleek. So here's a close up of the palette for you. And here are some swatches for you. So I've got the two highlighters on the left, and then I go across the top row and across the bottom row for you. These shades are so soft and creamy. So far, I'm really, really impressed with these shadows. If you guys would like a dedicated video to the Guerlain Holiday Palette along with one of the Guerlain uh, lipsticks, holiday lipsticks, then definitely let me know. Uh, but let me show you the lipstick. Uh, so this is number 92, Electric. And I think they came out with maybe three colors for the holiday season. And this one just really, really called to me. So they also came out with a lipstick cover for the holiday season. So if you are unfamiliar with Guerlain, you buy the lipstick and the lipstick case separately. So this is just the lipstick. I mean, I guess you could carry it around with this black plastic cap if you wanted to. It just looks really, really funky. And then um, you get the case, which you stick the lipstick into. So I got Electric Gold, which is the holiday one. And all of this is limited edition, I believe. And this is what the case looks like. So right now it's taped down and I will show you why it's taped down. Most of you probably know this. So this lipstick case like springs open to reveal a mirror and what holds it down is the actual lipstick. So uh, once you put the lipstick in, that holds the mirror down. And so when you take the lipstick out, the mirror automatically pops open. So it's a really cool design. I really, really like it. And this holiday uh, version is really cool. This feels like a foiled fabric. It's really neat. And then this is the color I got. So this is electric. It's a nudie metallic shade, very, very up my alley. And I really like the Guerlain lipstick formula. It's very creamy, very pigmented, very comfortable on the lips. So that's it. That's my very small part two of the Sephora VIB sale haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I'm always open to suggestions on synthetic brushes, on anything, uh, but synthetic brushes for sure. I'm like really on the hunt. I actually just placed an order um, on Hakuhodo, which is the Japanese brush maker, and they're known for their like goat hair brushes, but um, they have a, an eye series line that I've always been intrigued by, and someone commented that they really liked that line, and that's their line of synthetic brushes and so I ordered a whole bunch on there and Hakuhodo happens to be the brush maker that creates the Tom Ford brushes so I thought let me try their brushes their i-series brushes and uh, see if they're worth the money so anyway um, that haul will be coming up soon and maybe I'll do like a quote-unquote try on haul or a test out haul uh, with those brushes if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already I'll see you in my next video